Hi, this is Christy with ChristyPetersonPhotography.com, and my Etsy shop name is Fairy Photography. I sell digital backgrounds and overlays and costumes and templates, Photoshop files for fairy photographers. And this is a part two of my tips and tricks on how I do digital fairy wings. So here is a fairy that is lying down. Those can be a little bit trickier than the, just the ones that are standing up. So I'm going to create a new layer and my select the brush tool and grab a fairy wing. Um, go to this one. My right bracket to make it bigger. Oh, and I want to sample the color from the dress. And a yellow, I can do a yellowish or a pinkish. I think I'm going to go with the yellow. And make it lighter. Back to my brush. Okay, and stamp it on. This one needs to be darker, so I'm going to control J. And take it down a little bit. I'll probably leave it at 75. And I'm going to control E it, E, and that merges it together. Then I'm going to do control J again, but this time it's for the other wing. Edit transform, distort, and it's going to be the back wing. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shape them while they're still upright. I don't know if anyone else is um, like me, but it just helps. I don't know, it's just easier for me to do it that way. Okay, I think that's the far wing. I want it to be on the bottom. And I'm going to label it far wing. And this one near wing. And I'm going to add a mask to each of those. Alright, and I don't think I really need to move the, um, the near wing. Maybe I'll do it just a little bit. Edit, transform, distort. And I'm going to bring it forward just a little bit. And accept that. And then I'm going to make sure one of the layers is selected and hold the control key down and select the other one. Then I'm going to control T and then rotate it and drag it over and rotate until you like how it will look on her back. And then hit the accept. Then select one of the wings that you want to start working on. Grab a soft brush. And I'm going to disable the near wing so I can work on the far wing. Okay, and put the near wing back on. Just going to soften that. Oops, I'm going to select that and soften that just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to select the far wing mask and take my opacity down about 40, I guess, and I'm going to fade it, what you see through this wing so that the back wing looks like it's realistically in the back. Okay. All right. Okay, that's how you do that one. This is another um, way I like to do wings for a fairy that's sleeping. Um, I'm going to use this one and select an ivory color. Get a little brighter. Okay, need it on a new layer. Select the brush and make it a little bit larger. I have my brush um, palette in my brush window in my palette. I guess is the correct term. And I'm going to flip it and rotate it. Of course, you can do this with edit transforms and things, but 
Okay. Oh, darn it. Change the opacity. And here we go again. Okay. There. I'm going to make it darker. And then Control E, Control J, Control E. Then I'm going to do Control J and then Edit, Transform, and flip vertical to get a bottom wing. Then Control T to rotate it. And that looks good. Okay. Add a mask. Add a mask. Get a soft brush and at the top, so I want that on top. Okay. And change my names. Okay. I'm going to turn off my top wing, so I'm going to start working on the bottom one first. And just basically mask most of it away. And then turn my top wing on. And. Alright. Okay. I hope you find those tips helpful for putting digital um, fairy wings on fairies that are sleeping or lying laying down. Thanks for watching.